What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zombie Lauren if you're new here and welcome back to Taylor Swift Tuesday. This is my weekly show where I talk about all things Taylor Swift and today we change it up a little bit. Welcome to the spooky edition of Taylor Swift Tuesday. I'm so very excited to bring you this video. In case you can't tell by the thumbnail, the intro, or the title, today I am turning myself into the infamous, scary, brain-seeking zombie Taylor Swift from the Look What You Made Me Do music video. Recently I was bridesmaid in a wedding, and after you spend a ton of money on a bridesmaid dress and get it tailored to your measurements, what do you do with it afterwards? Well, when it looks exactly like the out of the woods dress slash zombie Taylor Swift dress, you turn it into a Halloween costume. So if you're looking for a last minute costume, hopefully this can help you out. And if not, I just hope you enjoy this ridiculous transformation. If this is your first time on my channel, hi, I'm Lauren. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like this video. I talk about all things pop culture from positive light. I do a weekly Taylor Swift Tuesday show. So let's get started. I have gathered all of my supplies. First thing I had to do to prepare for this video is to have dirty unshowered hair. Check. Next step was to gather the rest of my supplies, which is the lovely blue powder dress that you see here. And I gotta be honest with you, this was an expensive dress, but I'm not gonna wear it ever again. And I'm a little nervous to cut into it and to put dirt on it, but I guess that's the fun in Halloween. So we have got some blacks, we've got some browns, we've got primer, we've got some whites because you know, zombie style, because it's Taylor Swift, we're gonna be a little sparkly zombie, which I think is just as fun and very, very Taylor Swift. Most importantly, we've got scissors. I am so afraid to destroy this expensive dress. I hope that this turns out okay because we only get to do this in one take, so wish us luck, let's get started. Here is the look we are going for today. I'm sorry, but can you please just look at the similarities? It's like the exact same dress with the exact same straps. The only difference that I see here is this little wrap around thing. And so what we're gonna do is start to cut the bottom of my dress, which gives me anxiety, but it'll be okay. And we're gonna hopefully find some mesh that I can possibly wrap around here if that works. And there's nothing left to do but to start. I don't know why I'm so nervous to do this. I think it's because I've never spent this much money on a dress in general. And now I'm about to destroy it. But in the name of Taylor Swift Tuesday, let's, let's start the cutting. Here is the dress, I'm very excited slash nervous to do it, slash I don't even think I could physically do it myself. So my assistant Allie here is going to help me. Yay! She's going to help me mark up this dress and essentially we're going to be just be cutting in kind of like an A shape all the way up to here, making sure we can get to the layers. This is like a pretty, pretty thick dress with like different mesh layers underneath it. So we do have to like cut the ankles off and I'm just so nervous. I hope that this works. Let's just do it. This is where I'm doing it. Yes, exactly. So you're happy with where you're Here. At. All right, time has come. You've been good to me, dress. Why am I so nervous to do this? You're just a dress. Okay. Here we go. It's happened. You are officially step one into zombie life. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god, oh god. Oh, honestly, it's giving it the right kind of like gravy vibe. Gravy, that's not what I meant to say, but you know what I mean. Oh my god, this dress was so expensive. Woo! Oh god. Ha 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 All right, it's happening. Welcome to my Halloween ASMR video. <laughs> I'm just like cutting randomly and hoping that I don't cut myself or the back of the dress. We've got ourselves a zombie dress. How's it looking? I yeah. think we gotta cut more. Taylor has more ankle cleavage. Much more ankle cleavage. Here's the progress so far. The slit is pretty high, but you know what? Ali had a really great idea. We're going to be, what are you doing down here now? I'm just like taking the inside, not high camera, the inside <laughs> of the scissors, We're just and just like fraying it. Fraying almost. it, yeah. Which is kind of brilliant, and it gives it this kind of like fresh out of the grave look. Because <laughs> it, it's supposed to look like it was like ripped apart from like exactly. trudging through like. We're going for that fresh out of the grave decaying look, so you know. This is what we gotta do. All right, the dress is done. We are now outside getting ready to dirty up the dress. I do have to note that it's 
been a crazy 24 hours in my life. We were almost evacuated last night for the fires. We weren't, we're okay right now, but we're filming this video in spite of that because Halloween is going to happen regardless. So if you hear crazy noises, sirens, if ash starts to fall from the sky, that's why. It's time to dirty up the dress. We got it cut down to a pretty good, I'm pretty happy with how this looks on. It's very graveyard chic, if that's what we want to call it. I found some brown makeup. This is a bronzer by Bare Minerals, and this is the Ish palette. I don't really know who it's by, but they've got this really pretty shimmery black. So we're gonna kind of mix the bronzer and the black together to create a dirt vibe. Good luck to me. <laughs> We call this the I have no idea what I'm doing and brushes slow me down technique where you just finger paint. So, you know, it's kind of working. I feel like if she were to be like grabbing, you know, coming from the dirt, it's like there's kind of all over her, right? We're just gonna say that I'm right, so. We are dirtying it up. Allie's using the brush approach. I'm using my zombie fingers, but. Oh, it's fine. Mine but... <laughs> are nice and, and brown too, it's all good. <laughs> We're getting it done. It's, it's looking pretty good. It's getting almost there, and then it's time for my um, zombie makeup transformation. All right, this is looking pretty sick. This is the front of it right now. God, I so badly wish I could find a copyright-free version of Look What You Made Me Do, because I think Taylor would be proud. Oh God, it's stuck on something. What is it stuck on? I didn't know if there was a fence over here. All right. Yes! Here is the front, here is the back, and here's what's so cool about this. This is such an easy Halloween costume to do. Last minute life hacks. Guys, I'm excited. Yay! All right, I've got the dress on. It looks pretty realistic. Here, will you show the fine people? Obviously, I'm wearing a shirt and leggings right now, but I think it's kind of grave, popped right out of the grave kind of vibe. Right now what we're gonna do is to take some of the mesh that we took off from the bottom, around the ankles, and kind of wrap it around here to give it more of Taylor Swift's dress vibe that you see right here on screen, so. All right, the dress is done. I have pulled my hair out of my face with my cool towel headband thing. And guys, I'm no beauty guru. So shout out to the YouTuber Sarah in Wonderland. I have her video linked down below because she came up with this incredible zombie makeup look that does not require the amount of prosthetics that Taylor Swift did. Have you ever seen the behind the scenes video of the look what you made me do and like watched Taylor's transformation because it's intense, it's very scary. I don't have that kind of budget. We don't have that kind of time. So we're gonna improvise. Let's get zombified. Oh God, here we go. You got this, just do it. Don't think about it. Oh God, on the eyebrows. Okay, yeah. We're doing this. So you want the glue stick to flatten your eyebrows as best as you can so that they are right to your face. And then you will take a spoolie and spool them out so they look a little furrowed. Here's the best part though. Take your glue stick, shave a little bit off of it, and then put it on a plastic container lid. The goal is to get it like malleable so that you can then create that broken nose effect. We don't have a budget like Taylor Swift does, people. We've got Elmer's glue. So after you've kind of made a broken nose look, you want to take water with a brush, and then you will kind of start to paint out the edges so that it makes it look like it's attached to your skin a bit more. This part takes a lot of practice. I took a lot of takes, and there's a lot on camera that you don't see me do here. But after you get a nose that you're happy with, you want to go in and then you want to use concealer on your eyebrows and then scream at the camera because you look like a crazy person. And you want to continue that so that you're kind of hiding your eyebrows. And then you're gonna take some translucent powder and you're going to then use that on your eyebrows to kind of set it in place, help it dry. And then here comes the tricky part because clearly I'm not good at this. 
Fail. Yep, fail indeed, Lauren. So after the tool that I was using, which was the back of a makeup brush, wasn't working, I just went in there with my hands and my nails to kind of create that bridge look. There's no wrong way to zombie. What you're trying to create here is that sunken in skull look. Look at that broken nose and that profile kind of looking like a Frankenstein. And then you'll go back in and you'll take your concealer and you will just match up the rest of your face. <laughs> I look like a blue man. <laughs> ah, this is crazy. I look like the woman from something about Mary. Like I look like I just like woke up in a tanning bed. Yes, you do, Lauren. <laughs> And I kind of went in to make sure that all of the glue parts were covered, all of my face was covered with this foundation. Once again, go back to your translucent powder, kind of set it all, make it dry just a little bit. Really get in there, look at yourself, I look so weird. And then you wanna take a dark medium brown shade and you're gonna go in and you're gonna add shading to the bottom of that nose to kind of give it that broken nose look. And then you're gonna continue to do that along the edges of your eye sockets and also on the contour line. You kind of want to give yourself these zombie skull sunken in cheek look. And it took me a couple times. My assistant had to step in with the artistic hand there and really help me out. Very happy about it, clearly. I'm old! <laughs> and then you're gonna go in and take that same color. I actually started to go with a darker color to give yourself that dark zombie look. I also went in and started adding in some temples, kind of creating a three shape. And then I just kind of went a little crazy here with the color and just started to add random dots and holes on my face. This just kind of gives you that undead, I want to eat your brains kind of look. Go in and add that same stuff to your face. <laughs> Last step is to find some red purple color for your lips and you're done. Ooh, spooky. This took a lot longer than what you just watched. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't really know what happened down here with the chin, but I'm zombie-like. Okay, okay. This is the best we're gonna get. <laughs> I feel like I look like a cat or something like a... We've completed the look. Here are some final shots of it. We're gonna go walk around and see if people recognize me. So zombie Taylor Swift is hungry for brains. So we're gonna just go get some food or a drink or something. Zombie out, just putting in coins at the meter. Just like you, wonder what other people's people reactions are gonna be. Just a zombie. do this. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it across. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you like coffee? Yeah. Good. Um, I'm gonna get the green juice. I am zombie Taylor Swift from the grave. <laughs> Climbing out. Zombie. I was like zombie of something. Something. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I got that the like good, the dress. I the dress. <laughs> I have to eat someone to get my water. Thank yeah. you. Do you recognize me? No. You're beautiful. Thank you. I'm supposed yeah. to be dead. Movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> This is apparently regular LA stuff. Yeah. Zombies like tuna salad. Your neighborhood It's been a successful day of zombieing. Zombieing all over the town. It's not many people are phased by it. I guess they're used to it. Even little kids were just looking at me like it was just normal. Like, I know it's LA, but come on people. Look at me, I'm dead. And I am crumbling apart. I don't know, I had fun. Zombie things, you know. Ew, I hear you dragging your foot and I don't like that at all. <laughs> if you're like getting close to me, I'll punch you straight in the face. Open them. <laughs> I mean, you look really good. You look really good. I like the foot dragging. <laughs> I don't like you doing it next to me. But that looks really good. Adrian's live reaction. Let me get you here. Don't let close your eyes, go. Look? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Your face! Uh, 
look at my face. I did not face. expect that. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Yes, Wait, I'm coming from the grave. The face, I was not expecting that at all.